traditional to high tech, you're, you're looking at 200,000 square feet of exhibit space. Yeah, that makes Triumph of Agriculture one of the world's largest indoor short line equipment farm shows under one roof. Bob Mancuso heads this all up. Good to see you, Bob. Hey, welcome, welcome back. Good this morning. Is, uh, this is a tradition. How, how many years for this show? It's been going for a while, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's exciting. 51st annual, so we're over 50, you know, 51st awesome. annual back in Omaha. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't think about Omaha really being agriculture or farming, but we're farming and ranching's all around us, you know, so we are, do have a lot of agribusiness in Omaha, mm -hmm. too, that people would be surprised about, but 51st annual show, so we're excited. Mm -hmm. We expect farming, ranching, agribusiness, seeds, I mean, the time yeah. of year lends to some of that. Exactly. Uh, but what is new this year that you want people to get excited about? Well, a couple new features. They've got, you know, the bobcat thing, Omaha bobcat, uh -huh. about ATV type of stuff. Yeah. That's really mm -hmm. big right now because farmers are doing more of that with their covering their territory and their farm fields mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. They're getting out there. So they want to look at those. Those are there. Some of the different companies have put um, bobcats and ATVs. Then there's also, you know, even on the automotive side, you know, Woodhouse is there. They have some trucks and vehicles. Mm -hmm. Um, Edwards Motor and uh, Gene Steffi's there. So, all three mm -hmm. companies showing some different products and different type of trucking that they might be interested in. So, pretty diverse. Mm -hmm. A lot of products, a lot of equipment, um, vehicles, like you said, but also the seminars. And I know you get a, you're excited about some of the seminars that are coming this year. Right. We always got some good seminars. So, and it's very diverse from seeding and when to plant, how to plant. So, mm -hmm. some of that's coming up. But you also have things like retirement. You know, the gentleman we just had, Daryl, with retirement, retirement planning, and for farmers especially, yep. succession, succession planning. Succession is everything. Because a lot of them are getting older and they're passing it on to their children or yeah. that kind of environment. So succession planning. There's also one with uh, weather is really important for mm -hmm. farmers. Mm -hmm. So the state climatologist from Iowa State University is in town, and he'll, uh, Elwin Taylor. And so he's speaking once each day. So there's seminars that go on throughout both days of the show. Mm -hmm. And what's the cost of those seminars, Bob? Free admission. <laughs> so we're really excited that con for the sponsors yes. and then all the exhibitors that help bring the show to Omaha. Wow, to get that kind of knowledge, though, right. and not to Free have to admission. pay for it. Right. Awesome. And, and what I'm surprised about is there's a lot of farmers, a lot of people in the ag industry that go mm -hmm. to this, but people who aren't involved in the industry right. in Omaha go to this show. Right. Agribusiness. So if you're involved in any aspect of farming, ranching, you know, it's great. So mm -hmm. they, a lot of those people do come to the show. Mm -hmm. Who is speaking at the uh, luncheon? The opening luncheon. So that's on Wednesday, 12 noon. Um, the main speaker is Roger Berry. He's uh -huh. from the Nebraska Corn mm -hmm. Board. So we're really excited to have him. He's going to talk about the triumph of grain and, and ethanol. Mm -hmm. So corn is really wow. big. A lot of it is used for ethanol and all the different purposes mm -hmm. of ethanol. So he's the featured speaker. So we're excited to have him in Omaha. That's sort of the high tech, right. right? When we start to look at farming, it's not just about tradition. It's right. Well, no, it is. Top. And we've had Roger on the show a number of times. Guys, yeah. a, a Good. wealth of knowledge so when it comes smart. to that stuff. Mm -hmm. Good. Tickets still available for the opening luncheon? Yes. For the opening luncheon, they need a ticket. They can RSVP. You can uh -huh. go right online. So there's definitely still room for the opening luncheon. And we have also the Agri Award and winner. And who won that this will year? Will be there. And this year, it's Terry Henney. Uh -huh. He's the director of the Nebraska LEAD program, which mm -hmm. is a program that helps get either young farmers and people in agribusiness. Mm -hmm. They learn more about farming, and then they also usually do a trip to a foreign mm -hmm. country and, and interview and look at different mm -hmm. farming practices there. You know, I was, was sort of talking, and it makes me think about a young man we met a handful of years back through the Village Point Farmers Market. Mm -hmm. He didn't grow up in a farming family. Went to college, was sort of doing the traditional thing, and he was really intrigued by farming and got into it. Right. Bought some land and was buying his own equipment, yeah. and now that's his life. And mm -hmm. he's got a place on the other mm -hmm. side of Wahoo, maybe something like that, if I recall correctly. Good. It sort of it reminds me that you know I grew up in a farming town. Mm -hmm. That's not the case for everybody. That they sort of you know their grandparents right. did it or their parents did it. And that's how they got into it. It's right. a new way of life for a lot of right. people. Some people, a lot of young farmers, they get into natural or organic mm -hmm. type of products mm -hmm. and services and so they sure. go, they start to want to become a farmer. So yes. there is the new farmers and people that aren't from yeah. that background that try to get into that and, and it's tough sometimes because uh -huh. the land is so expensive. It is. But, but young farmers and beginning farmers, there's a lot yeah. of programs to help them. But the them. new techniques and technology right. and what's available now compared to if you looked 50 years ago when right. or 51 years ago when your right. show started, how things have changed. Right. Holy cow. Is yeah. it yeah. different? You just get started in community gardening and then before you right. know it, you own a combine. Yeah. Uh, here's the information. <laughs> show off all Online.com is, is the website. Uh, it's at the Century Link Center, the Triumph of Ag Expo, 346 8003. It's uh, in its 51st year. Yes. Unbelievable. Bob, thank you for being here today. It's yes. great to see you as always. Always good to see you, Bob. Thank Thanks you. For Have a great day. Uh, did you know today is 